Hi, I'm Gabriella, and welcome to Location Guiana, where we give you insight on places, people, and things of interest in this beautiful place called Guyana. Today, I'll be meeting up with a family friend of mine. He's a well-known face in Georgetown and a local historian. Many may know him as Rascali. Today, he'll be giving us a guided tour at monuments, statues, and sites that help to form the landscape of Guyana. Greetings, good afternoon. My name is Rascali. I'm a community activist of the African and the Rastafari community of Guyana. And we are here at the monument for the rebellion that took place in 1823. Now this monument here was erected between 2019-2020 by the government who was in power at the time. The Demerara uprising was the largest slave rebellion recorded in Guyana's history. On August 17, 1823, slaves congregated and plantation success to plan their rebellion against the plantation owners. The rebellion ended on August the 20th, 1824. Between August 23 to January 1824, 51 slaves were sentenced to death and 31 of them were executed on the gallows located right where we're standing. This is, used to be called the parade ground. Also on parade ground, other leaders of the rebellion were hanged on the parade ground. So this ground, parade ground, is a sacred ground for the African people in Guyana. And parade ground is not only consists of this ground that we're standing on, but it started from New Market Street, which is two blocks over, which the promenade gardens is one half of parade ground. And this part is, is another half of parade ground, because the ground actually stretched from New Market Street to what is now Kwamina Street, it used to be called Murray Street. Kwamina was one of the leaders of the rebellion of 1823. He had over 13,000 slaves who were part of that rebellion and didn't want to be enslaved anymore. Our ancestors were brutally murdered because of their fight for freedom from being enslaved. And here we are at another monument to the 1823 rebellion of Demerara on the East Coast. Now some people might be wondering why there are two monuments to the same event in one city. But political reasons has caused that to happen. Isn't that beautiful? We have two monuments to one event in one city. That's good for Guyana. Every year in August, there is a commemoration of the 1823 Slave Rebellion where you have people taking a walk from success on the east coast of Demerara to right here on the prairie ground where you have a ceremony to pay tribute to the ancestors for the fight that they carried on for the struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 